Hey, I'm Matt Latham, board certified master arborist and ASCA registered consulting arborist. And today we're talking about hypoxylin canker. Now, maybe you've seen bark peeling off of an oak tree or some other deciduous tree, exposing like a black or gray patches underneath. Often that can be hypoxylin canker. And it usually means your tree is in serious trouble. So yeah, hypoxylin is almost always tied to drought stress or other major tree stressors like root damage or compaction. And what you'll see is, is typically the bark is gonna slough off, exposing like a light tan or even a gray fungal mat. Sometimes it's got like a greenish color even. And this can later turn into a hard black charcoal-like crust. Here's the thing though, is once you see it on the main trunk, the tree usually declines fast and can often unalive within a few months. However, if it's isolated to individual limbs, we really have to play it by ear. Because here's the thing, is there's really no cure for hypoxylin once it takes over the trunk. But if you catch it really early on, on just a few isolated branches, these limbs can often be pruned off to help extend the life of the tree while treating it. And the real defense here is prevention. See, you've gotta keep your oaks specifically healthy during drought with proper watering, correct mulching, and avoiding over pruning or even root damage. And if hypoxylin does take over the trunk, removal is usually the only safe option, especially if the tree is close to your home or places where people may be like playgrounds or sidewalks, streets, etc. So here's the thing, hypoxylin usually doesn't attack healthy oaks. So if you can keep your tree healthy, it's gonna keep it contained and away from your tree but it moves in when those trees are stressed and vulnerable. And if you do see bark peeling and gray or black patches underneath, don't wait. Book a consultation at arboristondemand.com. Let's figure out the best plan for your trees. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.